Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift on the PC with our full wheel. We're going to be doing some wheel testing here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So the game's devs did contact me and say there was a forced feedback update to the game and they had updated some of the problem responses and things like that. So we're here today to take a look at some of that. We are in the Green Spunky Games A86 today. So my Fanatec is set up for my Assetta Corsa wheel settings, everything I run for Assetta Corsa. So as for settings in the game, we do have it set right now. Force feedback at 45 force smoothing at zero so that is what I'm running currently we're gonna test these settings out we may try some different force feedbacks and things like that but I think we're going to leave my wheel settings at 975 in our wheel settings so let's uh go rip it we're here at the yard we're at the parking lot we can do a quick parking lot shakedown I think we'll clutch kick in so first initial thing is it does feel way different than it did before. The brakes are way more precise. As you can see, the brakes are coming out almost right away when I'm on the brakes. Unlike before, when I was running before, the brakes would come out way later. Handbrake is very responsive. So, and the wheel does not feel that all that bad. As you can see, we're actually able to hold the line. So they've done a lot of updating of this wheel physics since last time I was on this game with a wheel we're here in the parking lot of the yard or the yard track and uh, well I'm uh, able to get some good figure eights oh was... <laughs> as I say that we go hard into the pole so we didn't need that bumper anyways so the clutch response and the throttle response is much nicer now than before when kind of hang when you get off off throttle but now it kind of actually mimics how a real throttle should I think I glitched the audio there for a second yep we glitched the audio we're gonna have to reset that audio real quick going in we're just gonna go full send for the jump drift Kind of clutch kicking that out. There we go. Not too bad. We actually managed to be able to complete that jump drift. We get kind of a smooth line there. Kind of just letting the wheel go and do its thing. Oh, I didn't left foot brake enough. Thought we were going to left foot brake right onto that wall, but unfortunately, not enough left foot braking. So I think we do need to turn the feedback down a smidge because I'm noticing it is pulling a little bit on my hands, but I could dial it back a little bit on my actual fan attack, which is what we may do because the game feedback feels great. I think the fan attack is just needs to be dialed back a little bit. There we go. That's a nice, that's a nice, pretty good line there. Bring it up here. Manage to bring that. There we go. So overall impressions with this, this is not bad I mean they've made a lot of vast improvements on this wheel settings and you know before I was having a hard time making lines having a hard time transitioning and keeping angles and stuff but now as you can see we're we're actually doing some full runs and stuff but I am fighting the feedback a little bit on my wheel and I don't know if that's just characteristic of the car or the settings I think we're gonna dial our feedback down a little bit so but we're gonna go to a different profile because I do not want to mess up my settings so we're gonna go to 50% on my wheel everything else will leave the same so we'll go 50% I was running 75 so let's go 50 clutch kick works really nice though all right that's actually much smoother it's not I'm not fighting the wheel as much as I was with the at 75% on my actual wheel so we could probably dial it down in the game for like G920s and stuff like that but I'm at 45 and now we're at 45 this feels pretty good hard flick uh, too fast too fast too fast mm, too fast 
So they did update a lot of the cars and they're going to be updating a lot more. So we're going to switch cars up. We're going to try another car out here on the track. We're going to one of the cars that I used to love a lot driving on mobile. Chris Forsberg's car. As you get a throttle when I get off, it kind of drops off how it should. So vast improvement with that. Full blown out FD car and uh, fourth gear kick. A lot of camber in there. Clutch kick. There we go. I'm actually loving how Chris Forsberg's car is feeling right now on the wall. Or on <laughs> the wall. On the wheel. Ah, uh, downshift, stand angle. Nope. Ah, uh, didn't downshift soon enough. Stay in fourth gear, gonna try and keep angle. Go right in, angle it out. There we go. Bring it up top. Can't break that. Downshift to third. Cut that a little short. I'm getting that audio glitch of tires. Oh, that was hard. So we do one more lap here. Try and see if we can't complete this. That audio glitch is something I'm gonna have to look into why keep getting that but overall Chris Forsman's car handling very very well on the wheel quite a uh, quite impressed with the improvements that they've done and it's definitely making for some really fun wheel content here on Torque Drift you guys have been asked for more Torque Drift content while we're here on the wheel full wheel pedal cam and everything set up for you guys full scare pop you break in Let's kick that downhill. Oh, Manage the understeer a little bit. Oh. I think we need to start tackling some of the sponsor tree. This Forsberg's car definitely uh, one of the better ones I've driven so far. Taking out all those. So let's change up track, change up car, do some more testing on the feedback and maybe make some tweaking. But let's go find some more stuff to do. So we are probably asking for a lot. We're here on the top of Hakone. In Dayoshihara's. So we're probably for a lot. We are sitting at the st start of Hakone in Dayoshihara's car. We're going to be trying to tackle the downhill full course in Yoshihara's car. Oh, is it going to cancel me out? Oh, I should have done free roam. Oops. Ha. Ah, well, we're going to go and see how far we get. Now that uh, I realize we are not in free roam. Oh, we sent that a little bit too hard. We kind of messed up Yoshihara's car a little bit. We're just going to try and complete the downhill section. There we go. Oh, no, I did not calculate for that snapback. That was a bit unfortunate. <clears throat> we need to get back in drift. A little handbrake, a little clutch kick, a little left foot brake, back in drift. This car is really powerful. And kind of bit off probably more than I can chew with this. With just coming back with the feedback and everything, I probably bit off way more than I can chew. I'm trying to tackle this downhill section, but ooh, that's not too bad. Well, that's gonna be bad though. Ugh. Sorry, Yushiara. Let's us borrow his car. We just start destroying it. Clutch kick. Over the hill. Over the hip. Whatever you guys want to call it. Oh. Massive slowdown zone, but we managed to complete it. I'm not really going for clips. I'm kind of just going to complete this and trying to drift this as much as I can and kind of get the feel of the feedback. Quick hard fourth gear change, third gear change, e brake, kind of back in that back end up. Oh my, stay in it. Aha, uh -huh. just just a gentle tap on the wall, but we are still going. So overall, definitely happy with the changes that Torque Chips is working on. 
and all the updates in the wheel gonna be trying to get with them and working a little bit more and helping get the feedback to improve more and more as the updates come out because the game is such an amazing game an amazing platform with the tandem the points and all the FD cars and everything getting the feedback dialed in is gonna make this game very very awesome so I'm gonna be working more to get my feedback dialed in and helping see if we can't get the feedback dialed even more although we're running long now we're kind of getting there now oh as I say that I mean that's a wall tap surprised we're still linking this drift uh, section as I said that we tapped the wall I should probably never say anything so I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on a torque drift full wheel setup going on Yoshihara's car definitely destroyed I would never be allowed to touch his car again if this is what it looked like when I returned it it's very reminiscent of uh, Tokyo Drift and the Mona Lisa so oh we're gonna try and finish this run out so make sure you follow me on all social media all which found in the description box below if you guys are not subscribed to the channel I would appreciate it if you tap that subscribe button as we go ahead first into the wall tap that subscribe button hit the bell notifications it would help me out tremendously in the YouTube algorithm and everything tap that like button if you want to see more here on Torque Drift make sure you guys follow me and let me know down in the comments and as always thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit 260, 270 is not bad. I'll see you guys on the track.